All right, guys, we are going to teach you how to solo raid a dungeon and play big time. Now, the first thing you got to understand is that these dungeons are incredibly, incredibly creepy. These little characters are very intuitive. So at times when you're going through these dungeons, if you're going to solo raid a dungeon, you need to make sure you're a high enough skill level to at least be able to withstand enough attacks to be able to heal up, to have time to do different things. But we're going to continue because we're almost at the boss part which is always the fun part. But again, the biggest thing is you need to be like right there. You, you know, they just take a ton of damage. And if you're not a high enough level, it's going to really hurt. So you got to make sure you're high enough. And then you got to make sure you can just slay them out and dodge those attacks. So we're going to be able to dodge all of that. Now, before I was rudely interrupted, we're solo raiding dungeons right now. I think these are going to be uh, incredibly, incredibly interesting because in big time these dungeons consistently they make it very difficult for you to do things and normally big time the game suggests that you raid dungeons with a group of like two to five people two to four people excuse me and these monsters are uh they're quite strong they do a ton of damage if you actually get hit by them and as you raid through the dungeon you do want to fight as many of these as possible because you're going to get the xp boost you're going to be able to level up as quickly as possible that's going to help you get better stronger gear to fight harder bosses so it's almost like practicing, as you can see. We're, we're, getting, we're getting up there in level, but we're dodging. You just want to dodge everything. Dodging everything, you know. Then we come from behind. We take a little damage there. It's okay. It's okay. Because we're, we're still dodging. We're still dodging. And sometimes they're going to hit you and it's going to hurt, but it, it's okay. Because if you're quick enough and you focus on your mechanics, you should be able to dodge directly. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just hit him with the Floyd Money Mayweather. Now, our inventory is too full, but the beauty in all of this is not only do you get stuff for dodging, but you get these all of these different skins and armors that you can sell for more gold later. So you definitely want to be on your P's and Q's when it comes to making sure you dodge. And as we get closer to the final boss at the end of the tunnel, you're going to see where it is going to be incredibly difficult for me to close this one out. And that is just a byproduct. Is this a dead end? Yeah, you never want to take you never want to take the hits if you don't have to i think this is a dead end so we'll probably have to go in a different direction but it is good to just kind of clear out these different little dungeon areas and and get a little bit of xp get to pick up some potions all that good stuff so we'll clear out all the corridors as we continue to move through this dungeon but you know the important thing to understand is that solo raiding a dungeon at the higher levels can get incredibly difficult if you're doing it you know without the proper ranking so as you go through and you continue to build oh we got one and number two and oh he's gonna blow up he's gonna blow up and there it is he, he blew himself up oh and he gotta dodge you gotta take that damage and then you gotta dodge we can even drop this on him they don't even know where we're at we're gonna be able to get all of these attacks off oh and, and now look at this we are incredibly weak a little bit of a health boost is all we need to close it out but that's what you gotta watch out for that is what you have to watch out for when you're playing at this level is that these things will do a ton of damage, even the small ones. So you can't take too much damage because ultimately it puts you in a position where it's going to be incredibly difficult to be effective for a solo raid. Solo raids are crazy. So as much as you can, make sure you heal up and get back in good standing. Then you can get back to raiding. And we're probably going to get close to leveling up. I don't think we'll get to eight, but we should get pretty close. Now, I will say the boss mission is going to be hard. We're not 100% certain that we're going to be able to close out the boss, but... That's the beauty in these solo raids. You gotta dodge. You gotta stick and move. Look, we're sticking and moving. We're sticking and moving. We're sticking and moving. We're getting off all the combinations. And just like that, another group is gone. Oh, well, he's trying to shoot us from the side. That's not going to do too much of anything. Look, he can't even get it over the ledge. I'm not even worried about him. And I'm always trying to fight everything. I want to get as much. I want to get as much value as possible. There it is. There it is. Let's get the combination and oh, but we are incredibly weak. We got to be careful here. We got to be careful. If we have to back up, there's nothing wrong with backing up and healing up. Just always remember that. There is nothing wrong with backing up and healing up and living to fight another day. They're going to come after us anyway. And just like that, we should be able to clean up one. We got all the moves like Jagger. This solo raid is going to be very successful. Oh, oh, but that really hurt. And that's what you got to watch out for. Sometimes you got to back up. Sometimes you got to force them to come to us. He's going to probably try to shoot at us from up here, but uh, 
it's not gonna be too bad and the heal's gonna take a while so we're gonna jump right back down we are wasting no time making sure we get our dodges in finishing them off as easy as you'd like where are these guys going we don't want to waste no time oh, oh that's not good always keep getting hit by those things those things are not fun but we got through that one that's what you want to see now we can do a little bit more healing and that's the thing with these dungeons dude when you're soloing literally anything can kill you so you gotta take your time you can't just be out here lollygagging not in the play big time arena and they're still trying to shoot us there's still one down below that's still chasing but i'm just gonna take this time to heal all the way back up because we got about 200 meters before we get to the final boss we can jump back into this i see him here he's real weak he's trying to he's trying to run away we're not letting him do all that you're tripping bro you are tripping but look at the xp we're almost at level eight so going into the final boss the boss rate is going to be obviously the most difficult but i think if we just take our time we cannot afford to get hit like that is the main thing in the boss raids once you get to the final boss the biggest issue people run into is taking way too much damage we are playing a character that is not incredibly tanky either if we don't take into account that our lack of tankiness it's going to be incredibly difficult to close this one out so you know in this type of situation as we prepare right up here for the final boss i'm going to be honest with you i don't know how this is going to go because the final bosses are normally filled with people and we are not tanky just to be completely honest with you we do not have any potions i should have brought potions down here but i didn't and the bosses are tanky so we're gonna have to do our very best to dodge a lot of attacks get a lot of damage in oh my and this was not what we would have wanted all of these things are going to be incredibly hard to kill so i will say getting to this point was great and there is a very slight chance that we get destroyed here as all of that looks incredibly difficult to kill but let's go let's see what happens oh oh we oh we got one we got one oh we hit him with the hit him with the combo we're gonna have to be quick we're gonna have to be quick we got one down we got one down which one of these guys are coming in next it looks like they're coming in hot we dodged behind them we gotta keep moving you gotta keep dodging that's the one thing about this game you cannot stop dodging and boy we are in for a treat we are in for a treat we're out here hitting them with the floyd money mayweather oh that is number two he's still shooting he's shooting at the wind that's another one down Oh, he dodged again, and look at that. We are slowly cleaning them up. That is what I'm saying, guys. You gotta be dodging. There is still a healthy amount of those guys to go, so we need to really take our time here because that guy at the end is going to be pretty ridiculous to kill. I'm trying to just draw him out. There we go. We get him to go into the attack. We need to see the attacks happen. There it is. He misses again. We're hitting him with the Floyd money. May oh, that hurt. Oh my God, that hurt that hurt really bad we, we need to clean him up right here we don't need to waste any time we need to back off and try to heal up let's draw him all the way out here this is how you want to take on the bosses and i don't even know what he's shooting but he's not hitting anything he's definitely not steph curry i don't think he can do anything that can hit us oh my god that actually hurt he can't hit us he's way too slow he's way too slow I, and i look at him now he's, he's running he's running i'm not letting him get away i am not letting him get away because i know exactly what he's gonna try to do if you let somebody like him get away get his ass out of here nope nope we gotta heal again if he's gonna run we let him run I, you're not you're not done yet you're not done i'm gonna tell you when you're done now we got two more to go it looks like he's gonna take his time that big guy is going to be a bit of a hassle but we are almost done with the solo dungeon raid but we gotta kill him we gotta get that big guy to engage it's gonna be a rough fight because if he hits us we're gonna be in very very big trouble oh there it is we want to bait him out we want to bait him out we're gonna bait him out again we're gonna keep that same energy going then we'll get him at low hp and that is when we're gonna strike i'm gonna use my ninja I'm gonna use my ninja move as soon as we get him down in the corridor i want to make sure that the big guy is not looking to attack us and there it is we get in oh he's, he's way off i don't know what he's shooting at i don't know what he's shooting at he's not getting away from me he is not getting away from me the damage is coming in and look at that wally is gone take the e out and add a g because he stood no chance
and we're getting better at this you know we're we're slowly moving around but the big guy our last boss to face and it should be a it should be a tough match it's gonna be tough here it is the final boss we're going up against wally in a 1v1 i want to try to get him to engage he's only he's not trying to engage though oh we dodged the first let's get a triple combo off on wally now we can back up and that is how you want to do it oh my god it is so much damage get up get up get up get up oh shit we gotta we gotta heal up he almost killed us right there we got we got hit by one punch man and now he's chasing us down he doesn't know where we're at oh he's gonna spot us look at wally and when we come back we gotta be ready to attack we gotta be ready to ambush him and there is the ambush now we need to be ready for the counter attack because he's going to attack us soon there it is a lot of damage oh, oh you gotta dodge dodge that oh and he is just far too slow the speed is too superior dodging again we're dodging all of it what am i doing oh no i'm trolling <laughs> i this is not the time to troll this is not the time to troll but we're trolling oh dodge again dodge again oh my god that hurt we gotta back up you gotta get up get up get up get up get up oh my god we gotta go way far back oh my god he is almost dead one more shot and that should be enough we're gonna get him with his back turned and there it is the damage is going in say goodbye to wally and we're gonna execute him Ah. Call me the Dungeon Master. Oh my God, and it looks like we just looted another NFT. Another NFT, we gotta figure out what we just looted. We killed Wally, we just beat the entire dungeon in solo mode. That is insane in the mem brain. And we'll kill him for just a little added measure. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But we made a lot of progress, so that was actually very good. Let's see which NFT we got. The Avenging Knight, title of Sir Gareth, known as the Avenging Knight. What is that? Oh my God, it's an actual NFT stat name. We just got Bryson, the Avenging Knight, rank eight. It doesn't get any better than that. You love to see it. And that, guys, is how you beat a solo dungeon raid in big time. I hope you truly enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, become the impossible.